Hey, welcome back guys. This is Kat. I'm here to do another video on the Chris Watts story. Um, I, you know, have been doing a lot of thinking about some different videos that I wanted to do on this. Just a lot of thoughts go through your head and I've been starting to, to write out my feelings and so it can be a little bit more organized because a lot of things that I want to say are more editorial and I really want to do this um, without just, you know, coming out here and just saying it. I want to have it be a little bit more professional than that. This one I had a few people ask me for um, because they wanted to really hear the letters to his family. So I'm going to read a couple of those to you. And I did put this, um, I made this picture for the screen right here. And it's a picture of... Shanann and Chris, when they were in their happy day, look at how beautiful, beautiful that she looked with her dark hair. I remember uh, in here, you will hear that he says he remembers the wedding day with her, you know, big long eyelashes and her beautiful red lips and, um, you know, beautiful, beautiful day. I also remember that it was a little bit bittersweet because his family didn't go and uh, that just shows you how short life is. And I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that they wish that they could take that time back and had gone to that wedding. Um, and when you're living in the moment, you don't really realize how short everything could be. You think it happens all the way around you, but this really is a, another life lesson to don't miss those moments because these moments make up your life. And just to let you guys know in the future, I have been studying some books on family annihilators and just how, how rare they are, which is basically a blessing. And I'm going to kind of dive a little deeper into that, into the mind of that, because that's where I'm going right now. I have finished the book and I just can't wait for the other books to come out and I'm reading anything that I can read. and and talking to people and watching other people's opinion on things and some conspiracy things and just a lot to say. So I will be doing one of these a day. There is other stories that I want to work on and kind of get my hands in there and, you know, have open conversations with you guys because I have loved talking to you guys and the messages that I've got from you guys, the emails, I'll put that down below again, are really nice. It's really nice to be welcomed into this, you know, I guess, community, true, true crime, I guess, community it is. Um, I never like being branded like that, but hey, I like makeup. I like true crime. My channel is going to be kind of vlogging. It's going to be weight loss. It's going to be everything. But you'll know when you see a, a picture of the Watts family or something, and I may even start naming the series something that that's what it is. And it's, we're going to be doing a lot of focusing on that including I'm going to be trying to get people on the panel. And I also would like to get your opinion. I want to try the Zoom program out where I can have people call in. But um, be ready for a, a cozy winter full of things like that because I think a lot of you are just like me. I know a lot of you are just like me and you have the same questions. So let me just get right to this and then I'll be done. But I'm just going to read a couple of these. This one was, now these letters were given to Cheryl and Cadle um, from Chris, no, from Cindy, because these were letters that were actually written to his family. And right here it says, below are letters that Christopher wrote to his mom and dad, Cindy and Ronnie, for their birthdays. I'll read you a couple of these and I'll read you a couple of the other ones, which that's, I've tried practicing, just kind of reading through it, and I start crying. So I... I will get through it. It's not, it's not my family. I understand that. It's just um, with a lot of the stuff that I'm researching now and I'm looking into it to try to just like, like you guys are who are here, get a better understanding of it. The more that I look into that, the sadder that it becomes and the more real it becomes and less, less dare I say monster-ish. Um, but we'll get into that. And I hope you guys know it's 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 safe in my room to say however you feel, no matter what you feel, as long as you keep it 
you know, you're not attacking somebody's, you know, foolish for looks or racism or anything like that. Have your feelings because your feelings are are yours. They're, they're true. You own them. And we can all learn from them. So I'll get started so I'm not so long-winded. To Cindy, his mother, April 7th, 2019. Happy birthday, Mom. 64. I wish I could be there with everyone to celebrate or even just FaceTime to feel like I'm there. I want you to know that wherever I want you to know that whenever you want me there, I am there in spirit. I know being incarcerated is not where you wanted me to be or even thought I would end up here, but God knows how to reach people. Isn't that the truth? Sometimes a little nudge works, but sometimes it takes a dramatic life shift to open up their eyes to the truth. We are all predestined in the image of Jesus Christ and have a purpose. And this tragedy has brought me on a path to help others. We are all given talents and abilities that differ from others. In those gifts, he will utilize with me where I am. No matter what anyone says, I want you to know that you are an amazing mom, past, present, and future. I want to add on that there that just to remember that. No matter what anyone says, I want you to know that you are an amazing mom, past, present, and future. And that was just said um, April 7th, 2019. So that can get out all the naysayers there who wanted to say that Chris hated his mom and they had a horrible relationship. And he right here says it. This is how he feels in his words. He loves his mother. He goes on to say, all kind of people will form opinions because of this tragedy. But what they say doesn't matter. Their words should be like the wind. It, it comes, then it passes away. They can't see the love you showed me at the sacrifice you made for me when I was a baby. Ten pounds. Yikes. That is one big baby boy. All the way forward. This tragedy has left a huge hole in my heart, and I know it has in yours. Isaiah 66, 9. The Lord will not allow suffering without bringing something new to be born. We talk every day and our relationship is stronger than ever. We talk about our faith and honesty. And honestly, that's the closest you will get to one soul. So I thank God every day. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you. I've enclosed a picture of a scripture I have as well, Psalms 46 1. So it looks like he has to just kind of, when he sends things out, I saw he didn't have cards and anything. He just encloses a picture of something in there. And it looks like he always signs it, Love and Bless, Love and God Bless Chris. And then the, he puts the Isaiah 26 9 in here. With my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes. With my spirit within me, Will I see you early? And the other one is Psalms 145, 18. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. This next one was written to his dad, also April 7th, 2019. Happy birthday, Dad. 63. So let's see. He dad was 63. And his mom was 64, so just a year apart. Two more years and you can retire, right? I'm sure the higher ups don't even want to think about that, or they may not even allow it. That place wouldn't know what their right hand did for their left without you. Mom keeps saying you're working too much and the dark circles are getting darker under your eyes. The only cure for that is dot, 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 more golf. It's trying to be funny. I know, you're be I know that be me being incarcerated isn't what you thought my future would hold. Same thing that he said to his mom. But just know that I am doing okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still have my bad days, but I have the, my Lord and Savior in here showing me the way, as well as your support on the outside. Whenever you're at a race, a ball game, or at a golf course, and you wish I was there, just know I am there in spirit. And not just me either. We have a lot of guardian angels that are here with us every day. We can't see them, but trust me, they are always there watching and listening. Just like Bella, and I am her hero. You are mine as well. I know that I fell short of the example you set, 
But no, I never forgot how I was raised and I won't be defined by one moment in time. I'm still a dad, I'm still a son, no matter what. Now I can add servant of God to that mix. He has shown me hope, peace, love, and forgiveness. And that's how I live every single day. I'm going to enclose a picture of the verse of Deuteronomy 31.6. Since I don't have a card to send, I hope you have a great birthday. Love you, Dad. Love and God bless, Chris. And Psalm 145, 8 and 9 are, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great of mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are all over his, his works. On December 4th, 2018, Christopher writes a letter to his family asking them to read the letters he is sending to his girls and Shanann. Dear family, as the Bible says, the Lord will come you like a thief in the, the Lord will come and grab you like a thief in the night. That's what happened. He took me on a 15-hour trip to Wapun, Wisconsin. When I get phone privileges, I will call. They use uh secure secure us here too the number to call to set up my account is 1-800 blank my doc number is blank i'm sure it's the same account you already have set up but just in case the commissary is called canteen and it's probably the same way it was in colorado probably through the wisconsin doc website I can receive pictures here, nothing bigger than five by seven. And if you have one, you can send me of mom, dad, Jamie, Robert, J uh, Jamie, Robert, Dylan, and Dalton. That would be cool. And one of Shanann, Bella, and Cece all together. Bella's birthday is December 17th. If you could go by the grave site for me, I'm going to write something for you to say to them from me. If you could, that would be great. I'm not sure what's going on in the outside world or the sports world, so I hope I can call soon. I love you all so much. Thanks for being there for me. I will write what I want. I will write what I want you to say for Shanann, Bella, Cece, and Nico at the site on another piece of paper. Love you all, Chris. On December 17th, 2018, so last Christmas, the first Christmas without them. Christopher writes to Shanann, Bella, Celeste, and Nico. Now this one, guys, I tried to write through a few times without crying, but I'm just going to go. It's just been um, getting very deeply into this and reading a lot of stuff and watching a lot of videos, and it would make anybody um, emotional. I, the people that I've heard read it get the same way, but I'm going to, you know, <clears throat> it's not my family. I don't know them. Um, so that I'm going to put that in my head and just read it as best I can. Shanann, Bella, Cece, Nico, where do I begin? I love all of you to the moon and back, or as Bella would say, I love you all day. You guys will always be my shining stars, my light in the darkness, and my guardian angels. I am so sorry for the pain and terror I caused all of you. It rips my heart to pieces knowing what happened. Being a husband and father, you are all true blessings from God. I was blind from seeing those gifts he bestowed upon me. I hope when you look down on me, you don't see the person that hurt you, but the person that loves you. I pray that you say, there is my husband and there is my daddy. I, all, I love you all so much. And remember, you will always be my sunshine. I miss you guys so much. Every time I close my eyes, I see you, Bella, jumping on that trampoline in Myrtle Beach and swimming like a big girl with your floaty. I see you, Celeste, running back and forth from the ocean, feeling the sand on your feet for the very first time and seeing the waves crash down. I see you, Bella, playing with your friends and breaking out of your shell. That must have been nice because she was always so the quiet one, but to finally see her breaking out of her shell right before she was going to start kindergarten. You even got me good with a few water balloons. I see you, Celeste, sprinting into every situation, showing how spunky and tenacious you are. I see an ultrasound of the third miracle God was putting in my life, not knowing if it was a boy or a girl yet. I see you, Shanann, in the kitchen, 
with an Oops, We Did It Again t-shirt on to announce a third bundle of joy was on the way. I see you, Bella, with those amazing curls that remind me of my hair when I was a little kid. I see you, Celeste, tackling me every time you see me. You truly are daddy's girl. I know this because you would, you would only let me tuck you in at night. Oh, how I terribly missed both getting ready for bed. You two always got me soaking wet from the shower, but you always had a blast. Then it was snack time and story time. You both loved story time. Celeste loved your lion book and Bella loved her frozen short story book. That must be why he said that Bella roar with her lion book. You especially liked the Olaf story. You always kept asking for one more story and I would cave in and do it. I still read to you now. I hope you both hear me. Nico, you would, you would have been born about a month away from being born. And I know your sisters would have been fighting over who got to hold you first. I know you're doing that right now as we speak. I love you, little man. Shanann, you were so good to me, our entire relationship. I know we had our struggles and disagreements, but you truly did love me. You would do anything for me. You painstakingly tried to show me that towards the end of towards the end, but whatever wall I put up restrained every attempt. I wish I could have opened my eyes and saw the love that you were pouring out on me. I went to church Saturday, sitting there, seeing Jesus on the cross, hearing Holy Night being sung, and knowing I didn't have you four with me broke me into tears. I knew you were spiritually with me there. As soon as I looked up, I saw a couple of rays of sunlight hit the cross, and I knew you were there. What will I do without you, the kids, for the rest of my life? How am I supposed to go on? You are my everything. And I took all that away. I don't know why my love for you all wasn't stronger than the evil force. There will be more birthdays, graduations, Christmas, Easter, holidays. You made all special weddings, funerals. As life goes on, those days will be torture, not having you here with me. We didn't get to see our, our girls and little boy grow up. It's my fault. I was given the responsibility to take care of you all, watch over you, make sure nothing or no one hurt you. And I'm the one who hurt you myself. I cry out to God sometimes, why, why did I let this happen? I would have rather have chosen death than to have hurt you all. With Christmas a week away, I have something to confess. Your daddy was Santa Claus, and I'm going to miss every second. I got to put on that suit. The smiles and excitement on your faces were priceless. In closing, I wish I could be tucking you girls into bed. Celeste, with the best kisses. Bella, with the best hugs. I wish I could give you a good night kiss, Shanann, and feel Nico kick around in your belly. You all mean the world to me, and I love that, and I love, and the love I have for you can't be measured. It's like the sand of the sea. I love you all, always and forever. Now I have to get serious with you all. I am sorry. I wish I could take your place, and you all get be, be back here with your family. And I, and if I could, I would go in your place. My heart is broken into four pieces, a piece for each of you. Please forgive me for what I did to you. There truly isn't a word that can describe how sorry I am. To be living in this cell without all of you in my life is the most horrible thing that can be imagined. Never would, some, never would this be something I would want to have happen. You were my life. You are my life. I just need you to know that it wasn't me that morning that did that horrible thing. Something not of that earth came over me and I succumbed to it and I allowed it to take over my head, my actions, my life, your life. I'm not blaming it on anyone else, but had I not gotten mixed up with the wrong kind of people and allowed a dark spirit to enter my life, I know something like this never could have happened. I beg you a million times to forgive me for what I have done. 
Soon I will be in heaven with you and we will rejoin our family and be together for all eternity. I love you all so much. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas, Bella. Merry Christmas, Cece, Lion's Roar, Lion's Voice. Merry Christmas, Nico. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas, Shanann. Keep living for God's faithfully and waiting patiently for his plan, for he is a savior, faithful and good. Keep trusting in him when we experience heartache. God bless everyone. Amen. And I'm going to stop right there at that one. There's more that I want to read you on the next days um, coming up. A lot more than I want to say, and I really want your opinions on that. Before I even say my opinion, what I thought, back and forth, what I'm thinking, I'd like you guys to listen to that. If you have it, to read it. And to listen back to it again and really try to put yourself in the shoes. Just try. And I, I don't care what the answer is. I truly, truly want to know what each and every one of you just think about what I, I read. It doesn't matter what it is. Just tell me your thoughts. I would really appreciate that, guys. I will be back tomorrow. Um, with another video and I will be planning on making these videos that are going to be basically released at around the same time every night or I may start uploading them making them at night and uploading them in the morning but I will let you know very soon I, I thank you all for the new people who come here please give me a thumbs up please leave me a comment and please cl click that subscribe button for more of this um, you guys all have a good evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.